This video we talk about immunocytes. Immunocyte is any cell which can react with antigen to produce antibody or to participate in cell-mediated reactions. Around us, in the environment, there are many microbes that can harm us, causing illness or even death. There are four major groups of microbes, viruses, bacteria, fungi and parasites. We are exposed to these threats since birth, so we need to have many cells and molecules to defend our bodies. We will call immune system to our body defenses, and immunocytes to the immune cells that protect us. The cells responsible for these immune responses include B and T lymphocyte, macrophage, mast cell, NK cell, dendritic cell, monocyte, neutrophil, eosinophil, basophil. These cells secret cytokines which are small proteins providing cells with the ability to communicate with one another and orchestrate complex multicellular behavior therefore regulating diverse functions in the immune response including proliferation, differentiation, migration and function of immunocytes. T cells are a type of white blood cell known as lymphocyte. Lymphocytes protect the body against cancerous cells and cells that have become infected by pathogens, such as bacteria and viruses. T cell lymphocytes develop from stem cells in bone marrow. These immature T cells migrate to the thymus via the blood. The thymus is a lymphatic system gland that functions mainly to promote the development of mature T cells. T cells originate in the bone marrow and mature in the thymus. In the thymus, T cells multiply and differentiate into helper, regulatory, or cytotoxic T cells or become memory T cells. Once stimulated by the appropriate antigen, helper T cells secrete chemical messengers called cytokines, which stimulate the differentiation of B cells into plasma cells antibody producing cells. Regulatory T cells act to control immune reactions, hence their name. Cytotoxic T cells, which are activated by various cytokines, bind to and kill infected cells and cancer cells. B cells, also known as B lymphocytes, develop from hematopoietic precursor cells which play a central role in the immune pathogenesis of glomerulonephrotides and transplant rejection. B cells can secrete antibodies through multiple mechanisms and their antibodies are the central elements of humoral immunity which against an almost unlimited variety of pathogens. A B cell is triggered when it encounters its matching antigen. The B cell engulfs the antigen and digests it, then it displays antigen fragments bound to its unique MHC molecules. This MHC attracts the help of a mature, matching T cell. Cytokines secreted by the T cell help the B cell to multiply and mature into antibody producing plasma cells. Released into the blood, antibodies lock on to matching antigens. The antigen antibody complexes are then cleared by the complement cascade or by the liver and spleen. Macrophages are immune system cells that are vital to the development of nonspecific defense mechanisms that provide the first line of defense against pathogens. These large immune cells are present in nearly all tissues and actively remove dead and damaged cells, bacteria, cancerous cells, and cellular debris from the body. A process by which macrophages engulf and digest cells and pathogens is called phagocytosis. Mast cell, tissue cell of the immune system of vertebrate animals. Mast cells mediate inflammatory responses such as hypersensitivity and allergic reactions. They are scattered throughout the connective tissues of the body especially beneath the surface of the skin, near blood vessels and lymphatic vessels, within nerves, throughout the respiratory system, and in the digestive and urinary tracts. Natural killer cells, also known as NK cells, K cells, and killer cells, are a type of lymphocyte, a white blood cell, and a component of innate immune system. NK cells play a major role in the host rejection of both tumors and virally infected cells. NK cells are cytotoxic. Small granules in their cytoplasm contain special proteins such as perforin and proteases known as granzymes. Upon release in close proximity to a cell slated for killing, perforin forms pores in the cell membrane of the target cell through which the granzymes and associated molecules can enter, inducing apoptosis. Dendritic cells DCs, are the main inducers and regulators of cytotoxic T lymphocyte CTL, responses against viruses and tumors. One checkpoint to avoid misguided CTL activation, which might damage healthy cells of the body, is the necessity for multiple activation signals, involving both antigenic as well as additional signals that reflect the presence of pathogens. The monocyte is a large type of white blood cell with one large, smooth, 
well-defined, indented, slightly folded, oval, kidney-shaped, or notched nucleus, the cell's control center. White blood cells help protect the body against diseases and fight infections. The number of monocytes in the blood can be detected with a test known as a complete blood count, CBC, with differential. A CBC provides important information about the kinds and numbers of cells in the blood. A type of immune cell that is one of the first cell types to travel to the site of an infection. Neutrophils help fight infection by ingesting microorganisms and releasing enzymes that kill the microorganisms. A neutrophil is a type of white blood cell, a type of granulocyte, and a type of phagocyte. Eosinophils Eosinophils can also be associated with a multitude of disorders, such as asthma, tropical pulmonary eosinophilia. Eosinophils are terminally differentiated granulocytic effector cells that produce and store biologically active molecules, including cytotoxic proteins, lipid mediators, chemotactic peptides, and cytokines. They are considered as multifunctional cells able to modulate both innate and adaptive immunity. Basophils the list for basophil-related diseases is somewhat shorter. Basophils have been associated with fatal asthma, acute and chronic allergy, and have been shown to play an exacerbating role in lupus nephritis. It is unclear whether they play any role in ink-dependent anaphylaxis in humans. Learn more information from our website, www.creativediagnostics.com. Thank you.